Code 5. A kit must be at least six moons old to become an apprentice. It seems so obvious that kits should no obvious now that kits should not be allowed to fight until they are properly trained and strong enough to take on full grown warriors. But it was not always like this. It took the love of a mother cat to stop to put a stop to the destruction of fragile lives. The queens unite. Attack! Jump! Swipe! Roll! No! Roll! Daisy Tail winced as speckled a speckle paw scrambled to his feet and shook his head, panting. He looked dazed, and there was a bead of blood welling at the tip of one ear. His mentor, Slate Pelt, nudged him toward the other apprentice in the training circle. Adderpaw? In the training circle, Ad Adderpaw. Try again, Slate Pelt instructed gently. Daisy Tail could wa couldn't watch as Speckled Paul launched himself at his rival. It seemed like only noon ago that he that his freckled, pale brown head had, m had nuzzled into her belly, searching for milk. Adderpaw had been training for several moons longer, and he looked full-grown next to Specklepaw, whose head barely reached his shoulder. There was a thud behind Daisy Tail, and she bit her tongue to stop herself from wailing out loud. Did you see that? Specklepaw called. Did you, ma'am? Did you? I pushed Adderpaw right over! Daisy Tail turned around and forced herself to purr approvingly. She could tell from the look exchanged by Adderpaw and Slate Pelt that the older apprentice had deliberately let the little cat win. Well done, Nutkin. Well done, Nutkin, she called. A tuft of fur on Speckled Nepa's head was sticking up, and she longed to go over and lick it flat. He'll be a warrior before you know it. He'll be a warrior before you know it, before my milk has dried up, she added silently. Sleep Pelt nodded to her. He's learning fast, which is good, because it looks like we'll be fighting Shadow Clan again soon. They've been, uh, they've been stealing, they've been seen stealing rabbits in broad daylight, and Hazel Star won't let them get away with it. Daisy Tail didn't answer. Her kit was too small to take part in the real battle. He couldn't even uh, take on his own clanmates, who would never, who would never try to rip his pelt, tear his eye, claw his ears into shreds. Daisy Tail, are you okay? A dark brown face was peering anxiously out of the entrance to the nursery. Hawkfoot's three kits were half a million younger than Speckle uh, Paw. They will be made apprentices any day now and kept bouncing around their nests, practicing their battle moves. There's going to be a, another battle with Shadow Clan, Daisy Tail burst out. I can't let I can't let Specklepaw fight. I just can't. You don't have a choice, Hawkfoot pointed out. He's an apprentice now. But this is what he's being is being trained for. Daisy Tail lifted her head. And if your kids are apprentices by then, will you let them go, knowing they'll face blood hungry Shadow Clan warriors? Hazel Steel, Hazel Star. Shadow Clan warriors. Hawkfoot patted a, prodded a bramble tendril with her forepaw. It's our duty to provide, the, to provide the clan with new warriors, she meowed. And it is our duty to see those warriors die before they're full grown. And is it our duty to see those warriors die before they're full grown, Daisy Tail challenged. She turned and stalked away from the nursery. Where, where are you going to put a stop to this once and for all? A bright, a bright orange sun stretched its paws over the edge of the moor, turning the sky above the, to pink and cream. Dew sparkled like starlight in the shadows cast by rocks and gorse bushes. On one side of the rocks, Hazel Star stood to address his warriors. They stretched in a line on either side of him, facing the Shadow Clan border, marked by a line of stunted trees. Warriors of Wind Clan! Hazel Tail cried. There was a there was an indignant murmur from farther along the line, and Hazel Star's whiskers twitched. And apprentices, Shadow Clan has stolen from us once too uh, one too many times. We will teach them that Wind Clan's borders are strong. They will be they will be defended with claw and tooth, and our prey protected for our clan alone. Cats yowled in support, and the gla grass fr flickered with the shadows of flash flashing tails. Like an echo, a yowl came from across from the trees on the other side of the border. The grass beneath the trees stirred, and a line of Shadow Clown warriors stepped out. A white-furred cat with hard green eyes stood in the center. Are you sure about that, Hazel Star? He sneered. Some of your warriors look awfully small. His gaze swept over the smallest one clan apprentices, who suddenly looked even tinier beside their clanmates. 
I'd say we're, le we're evenly matched, Blizzard Star, his old tail replied calmly. He glanced around the cat at the end of the Shadow Clan line, some of whom still had a fuzz of kit fur around their ears. Blizzard Star curled his lip. We'll put that to the test, shall we? He snarled. Shadow Clan attack! Stop! Daisy Tail leaped onto the rock she had been hiding behind. Hawkfoot scrambled up beside her. We won't let you fight! Blizzard Star stared at the Queen's in astonishment. Are you all, are all your cats this scared of combat, Hazel Star? It's not fear called it's not fear called the cat from the Shadow Clan line. She stepped into the open, her amber eyes reflecting the sun. Oakleaf, what in the name of Star Clan are you doing? Blizzard Star demanded. Daisy Tail jumped down from the rock and padded into the open space beneath the battle lines. The grass fell cool and springy beneath her paws. She would not let it turn red with her own kit's blood. We're stopping this battle, she announced to her relief. Her voice didn't give away how much she was trembling inside. Some of these apprentices are barely weaned from their mothers' milk. They are too young to die, too young to fight, too young to be treated like full-grown warriors. The Shadow Clan Queen walked up to walked out to join her. Daisy Tail came to see me with her clanmate, Hawkfoot, two sunrises ago. She told me that she didn't want to let her kid go into battle when he was too small to fight his own clanmates. And she asked and she asked me if I would let my kid die like this too. And Blizzard Star let let out a questioning grunt, she turned and explained. I met Daisy Tail once at a gathering when we had both just learned we were expecting kits. She remember she remembered me and I knew I would not want my kit to fight any more than she did. Hazel Star turned to Daisy Tail. What are you saying? he queried, looking baffled. Well, that we should never fight again? Do you really think that is how the clans would live? Could live? Daisy Tail shook her head. No. I know battle is part of our life. It's what warriors train for, but they should only be asked to fight when they are old enough to stand, cha stand a chance of winning. What is the point of training kids so young that they'll be lost in their first conflict? Out of the corner of her eye, she saw Speckletail, Specklepaw duck behind the outer paw. Embarrassment prickled from every hair on his pelt. He refused to meet her gaze. Inwardly, Daisy Tail gave an amused, amused purr. One day he'd understand. He'd still be alive to know why his mother did this. Oakleaf trotted across the grass and stood side by side with Daisy Tail and Hawkfoot. We are united, Blizzard Star, she told him. She nodded toward the line and several other she cats padded out. Daisy Tail dipped her head to greet them. Some of the some of these queens were too old to have kits as young as hers. But they all felt the same. The youngest cats should not be expected to fight. The grass whispered softly as Wind Clan she cats joined them at falling in beside the Shadow Clan rivals. Daisy Tail held her breath and looked from Hazel Tar to Br Blizzard Star, then back again. The leaders could still order their warriors into battle. All that would all that would happen would be that she would be forced to watch her kid fall beneath the paws of a giant Shadow Clan warrior, never to get up again. Hazel Star, Queens have spoken. Blizzard Star stepped out from his battle line, looking hard at his rival leader. Should we ignore them and fight? The ginger Tom put a pause, letting his gaze rest on, on the group of she cats before, glancing at his tiny warriors. Then he faced Blizzard Star again. What sense is there in losing the future of our clans when, it, when if we let them grow stronger, battles will be more easily won? Daisy Tail almost purred out loud. Hazel Star had managed to make this sound like a threat to Shadow Clan rather than a decision to decrease his battle line. Blizzard Star nodded. If you're going to remove your youngest cats, then so must I. Shadow Clan cannot be accused of being unfair in battle. I would never suggest such a thing, Hazel Star murmured. He turned to Daisy Tail. How do you propose that we make sure all clans keep their youngest cats from battle? He asked. Daisy, Daisy Tail gulped. Was she really being consulted by the leader of her clan? Of her clan? She thought rapidly. I think there should be an addition to the warrior code. That kits must be... She looked up and down the battle line, judging which cats look big enough to take on a fully trained warrior. Six moons old before they are allowed to train as apprentices. Oakleaf brushed the tip of her tail against Daisy Tail's shoulder. Until then, they must live within the camp where the queens can be responsible for their safety. Hazel Star nodded. Hazel Star nodded. That makes sense to me. Thank you, Daisy Tail, and thank you, Oakleaf. He dipped his head to the Shadow Clan Queen. Blizzard Star, are we agreed? Shadow Clan leader bowed his head. We are. We will take this to the gathering at the next full moon. Daisy Tail gazed at Specklepaw, who looked ready to burst with frustration. There will be other battles, my little warrior, but not yet. Not 
until you are ready.